What's up, everyone? This is In Your Base with Terraria today. It just came out, so I decided to make a quick video to show you guys what I got going on. I have a full base set up right here. Nurse, arms dealer, guy, everybody. Doing pretty good. Um, I have a couple towers set up on one side. Got the red tower. And I got a... Yeah, I already had my goblin invasion too, so I have the rocket boots. Got my pink tower over here. I was just searching for some floating islands, and I actually found three of them. You got to go about 430 feet, I found. But here, I'll show you guys. Um, also, two of the three islands, I have a meteor strike on them. So I'll show you guys that really quick. I have to make this under 15 minutes or 10. I don't remember. So I'll try to get to it quick here because um, I don't have any video editing equipment I'm on, on this shitty computer so anyway this first one no that's nothing that just goes to the top the top is about 600 five something feet I don't remember um, coming up to it pretty soon here yep whoa yeah, so here's here's one of them. I already got this one. I think I got both of them on this side. I think the one that I haven't explored yet is the one on the right. Yeah, see, look. Here's the meteor that attacked here on this floating island. So let's keep going. Oh, shit. I'm just going to bob... Get out of those way. All right, I hope I can be able to show you all of this before I have to end the video. Oh, that's the end of this side. Alright, well I guess that was the quickest way to get closer to the center. Alright, let's do this. Whoa, lag. Alright, now I have two on this side. <clears throat> and I haven't gone once I hit the second one I decided I needed to make a video because there's two fucking meteor attacks on the floating islands so if you ever are wondering where one of your meteor attacks are it's on a floating island I thought the chances were going to be pretty fucking low but I guess it's not so yeah I've been pretty busy Pff, I have kind of played this game non-stop ever since I got it. Oh, is this one? Yeah, this is a copper one. This one doesn't have a meteor attack on it. Yeah, let's loot this one. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Alright, this is the last one. This one had a gold brick house on it too, so I'm wondering if the loot, I read on the wiki that the loot is supposed to be better, so I just didn't even loot, I just went right here, so. Plus I got raped by meteors, which I should probably, yeah. All right, look, this one has another meteor. Oh fuck, yep, I knew it. Yeah, I tried going at it and fucking. All right. Oh sweet. Less damage. It's faster though. <clears throat> Average speed. Oh damn it. 
Oh, nice. Yes. Yes, I like this. Oh my god, I'm lagging so bad right now. <laughs> oh yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, so if you see one with a gold house on it, that means the loot's better. Because the other one I got like a lucky horseshoe in, and then I don't even remember what I got in the first one. It wasn't anything good. But yeah, I've got a bunch of cool shit now. Got an ivy whip. This, I got like a million times, but it does a lot of damage, or it seems to be pretty useful. So yeah. Alright guys, well I think I'm going to end it here, so if you were, if you want to know kind of how to find these floating islands, what I pretty much did is I just built like kind of a wooden platform ladder all the way up to about, equipped my depth meter, got to about 430 because it said it's between 400 and 500 feet. So I went to about 430, like it said on the wiki, and then I just built a dirt path all the way as far as I could to one side and as far as I could the other side. And I found three. So I don't know if there's some more higher up, but there's not a whole lot further I can go. It goes to about... Yeah, see, it goes to about 614 feet. Alright guys, see ya.